Hey everybody, so as you may know, um, I'm going to be hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, about 150 miles of it, uh, starting this Friday, and um, I'm going to go over some of the gear that I'm going to be taking with me on this trip. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, what are you going to take, how are you going to do this, how is this possible? Well, let me show you how it's done. Um, right over here we've got... This is... Um, the Z-Pax Arc Blast 55 backpack. Um, incredibly lightweight. This entire pack probably probably weighs in at under two pounds. I think about one and a half pounds. Got a great capacity in it. I'm not even going to be using all the capacity even when I've got food and, and uh, water and everything in there. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. Weighs very little. In fact, it's made of a very strong material. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to taking this thing on the trail. It's going to be an awesome piece of equipment. Over here I've got my sleeping bag. This is the uh, Z-Pax 30 degree down sleeping bag. Um, I picked this one basically really it's it's for the weight. I wanted to try to get get the weight down as little as I could and this is about 19 ounces this sleeping bag right here. Um, not sure if that includes the stuff sack or not but there's just a great savings when you when you when you get a, a 19 ounce sleeping bag and an under two pound backpack this is going to absolutely be killer um, to make it that kind of distance you just got to take take the take the strain off your body and get as much as you can um, out of your gear the other thing that's nice about this is um, this outer shell will double as as a as a pillowcase so i can stuff my jacket i can stuff um, all the other clothes anything i'm not going to be wearing um, when I go to bed, I can just stuff it into here, use this as a pillow, cover up with the, you know, with the sleeping bag or get in the sleeping bag. Most of the time, though, I don't even need to use, use the sleeping bag as anything more than just a, just a blanket because it'll be warm. I'm going to be hiking mostly at about four to 6,000 feet. Um, up here we have the, uh, the uh, Z-Pax duplex tent. Um, camo color. I love it a lot. I just tried it out this last weekend. Um, very lightweight again this entire this entire setup under two pounds right in here it's about the size of a big loaf of bread um, it's awesome you actually use um, these the, these uh, lecky trekking poles right here as the main support for the tent so you basically get a double um, a double dip right there you've got your your trekking poles that basically stand as the poles for the tent um, I've got a set of aluminum stakes. A lot of times you can just use rocks to brace the tent and brace the guy lines. Um, but those are pretty lightweight. I might end up changing those out for titanium uh, this week, but we'll have to see about that. Um, for a ground pad, I've got, a, got an air-filled Alps Engineering uh, full length. Um, still very lightweight. I think this is, this is probably about right about a pound uh, right there. Um, but very comfortable, super thick, um, almost too thick in some instances. I actually don't inflate it all the way because um, it's almost a little too bouncy. It's almost like being on a waterbed, but very comfortable. Um, obviously, for a little entertainment, we've got some uh, playing cards. Um, going to be doing all my powering off of this uh, Ray Power external battery. It's going to give me plenty of juice. I'm going to be able to power my iPhone, um, everything I want to do going to do it right here with this with this guy got my iPhone charging cable this thing weighs about a half a pound and I can charge my iPhone six times with this and then um, can also charge this this is my water purifier this is a SteriPen Ultra um, don't know if you can see but just firing it up there basically this is an ultraviolet water purifier um, more like a sterilizer, I guess you would call it. Um, it's not actually filtering the water, but what it's doing is, is it's killing all the protozoa and bacteria and anything that might be in the water. So you gotta be a little bit careful as far as what, uh, what you're putting uh, in your water bottle because you're gonna be stuck with, if you go and get muddy water, you're gonna be stuck with muddy water, but you can still purify it with this, but it's gonna taste like muddy water. Um, but Probably one charge on this is going to last me the entire trip, so I don't really have to worry about recharging that. I think I can filter about 100 liters of water with this guy. Um, not filter, but purify. Got a uh, 
titanium spoon I just picked up. This thing weighs almost nothing. It's absolutely amazing, but it's incredibly strong. You can see how they they put that little ridge down the middle. It gives it a lot of strength. Um, but I love the long spoon. You can get down into those into those uh, freeze dried uh, meal packs pretty easily and not get your hands all covered in spaghetti sauce or whatever. Um, taking along some emergency uh, duct tape and twine. Got my uh, trowel to do a little gardening along the way, if you take my meaning. Um, measuring cup, just a lightweight plastic deal. You can get it at any, any camping store. Um, this is my ever new titanium cooking pot. And again, very lightweight. And then I'm carrying a uh, carrying this little, this little two-piece stove here that just snaps right onto the end of one of these fuel canisters. These are awesome because they're they're super small. They just go right onto there, and you can put your cooking pot right on top of there. Um, little stuff sack for that to go on. The pot's super light, and I've got a little little plastic doohickey in here to scrape. These things are absolutely awesome for scraping out scraping out your pans and cleaning them. Got a pack towel here. Um, again, really lightweight, super absorbent. You can stick that thing on a rock. It's dry in probably 20 minutes. If you give it some full sun. So that's it guys. I think the total weight is probably going to come in somewhere at around 15 pounds. Um, not including water and food, um, fuel, um, and consumables basically. So just base gear weight about 15 pounds. So you can imagine um, you're not talking a whole lot of weight. So that's, that's how I'm going to be able to cover 150 miles is just lightening the load and doing it that way. Um, people always ask me, Aaron, what are you doing for protection? Well, hey, I've got it right here. My original choice, SKS assault rifle, 30 round magazine, folding stock, got some optics on there, iron sights if they don't fail, got the strap, it's, it's great. The only problem is, is the gun itself weighs about as much as all the rest of my gear combined. So I can't really do that to protect myself from bears. So I decided, you know, option number two. We got the Mac 11 right here. 30 round magazine. Pretty easy to operate. Just a just a little click safety on the side there. Um, you could probably pop a bear full of a bunch of holes in no time. But you know what? The thing still weighs like five or six or seven pounds. It's a bit unwieldy. Then you throw in the magazine and everything and. Yeah, I just can't do it. So I settled on my handy dandy little pocket knife here. I just open it up and, well, I'm gonna have to get really good at uh, fighting back if I get attacked. So that's about how it's gonna work. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, look back at my page. I'll be posting updates um, as I go along the trail when I can, because I don't know when I'm gonna get service, when I'm gonna be able to post anything. So um, check back and I'll try to Make as many updates as I can and see you out on the trail.